Hi folks, nice from Galaxy S3 Root.com for this week's Galaxy S3 ROM of the week for all the Galaxy S3s, including AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. Uh, what other carriers are there? Um, what is that? Uh, Cricket, US Cellular, I think also C Spire. Anything with Qualcomm S3, this will work. Also, it is available for the International Exynos uh, GTI 90, uh, 300 and also GTI 9305. Um, so all of those phones are supported uh, for AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, or uh, any U.S. Canadian versions. Um, you can go ahead and use uh, the same file as the newer ASP ROMs all share the same file for all the different models, except if you have a different chip such as uh, GTI 9300, which has Exynos chip. Um, also, there's a separate file for GTI 9305. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you this ROM, uh, Resurrection Remix ROM. First of all, let me give you a background about it. Um, it is by... IXA user Wes Krip, uh, he's been making ROMs since the S2. It's probably the best ROMs uh, for the S2 uh, for a long, long time. And now he's developing again. And uh, he has Resurrection Remix ROM on the Galaxy S3, which works perfect. And you know that Samsung has stopped updating your phone. Um, so you're probably stuck if you're still on a stock ROM uh, with like uh, maybe ICS. Anyway, this ROM is freaking awesome. It's gonna make your phone uh, into a KitKat phone. Uh, my phone is overclocked to 1.836 gigahertz. You can say this is not a Galaxy S3 anymore with this ROM on there. Um, so let me go ahead and show you some of the features. You see the KitKat launcher there. And uh, you can say, okay, Google, I find a Thai restaurant in San Francisco. Okay, it's gonna find me a Thai restaurant. Um, actually, I've been to uh, Las Rose. I've been to that one. And Osha, I haven't been to that one. Oh, actually, I have been to that one. Oh, sorry. We got lost here. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you the features of this phone. There's a ton of cool features. Like, you can go ahead and slide to the left uh, for the brightness. And let's go into settings. Uh, if you go in settings, um, you will see pitch black, which will give you um, the Resurrection Remix animations, the default. You'll see that, uh, did you see that? The screen was going actually going this way and going to the left, disappearing to the left. You can also customize that, but uh, Resurrection Pitch Black will do that for you and also makes everything black. I'm sort of a white on uh, black uh, theme here. So very nice stuff. I suggest leaving it on. Also, leaving it on will save you battery life because AMOLED screen on the Galaxy S3 uh, saves battery life. It actually does use no, it uses no energy uh, when the background is black. Let's go into Resurrection Tools, which is the highlight of this phone. Um, interface, if you go into Interface, uh, you go to Status Bar, you'll be able to customize your clock and date. What I like to do is put it into center clock. That leaves more room for all the other stuff. I like to actually show, um, not AM, PM. I like to show the date in small font size. Um, so you'll know what date it is. And you can also change the color if you want to. There we go. And um, you'll see that I have a network traffic monitor there. And that will show you uh, how much data I'm actually using. Battery bar, if you want to enable this, this will enable this bar instead of uh, instead of your battery icon there. Um, you can use that. What you can do is get rid of, um, you, since you're using a battery bar, you don't really need a battery icon. You can do that. And also, you can show 4G or LTE, which is both 4G and LTE, uh, but it's up to your preferences. And if you want to do the brightness control I showed you earlier uh, by sliding across, you can go ahead and enable that. Show notification count. That will show you how many notifications you have. Like if you have an email, um, it will show you how many notifications you have. Now I'm not going to go over all of these things, um, but I'll go over a couple more stuff. A quick pull down. You'll see that if I pull to the right or left right now, um, it will show me my tiles. Usually, uh, if you do quick pull down here, right or left, it only show if you go right. Uh, left will show you notifications. Now, since there's no so notifications, it's showing me the quick settings. And you can do that by enabling dismissible smart pull down. Now, when there is notifications, it will show you notifications uh, instead of your quick tiles. And you can go ahead and customize your tiles here. I'll add all of your favorite toggles, torch there also, um, sound modes, some more miscellaneous stuff there. 
uh, notification drawer, recent apps. There's two different recent apps you can do. Um, it's got the slim uh, style here, or you can go ahead and go with the regular one. This will also reset your UI. Um, and let me go ahead and show you that here. And you'll see the RAM bar up there, uh, which is you can also customize here. Um, you can have the recent RAM bar show for apps, cache, and other. As you can just show it to applications, which is uh, probably the recommended. Slim recent. All right, let's go to the next uh, step here. Um, this ROM does come with soft keys. What you can do, go to interface, go to navigation bar, um, set these. That set this from 48 DP default to zero DP if you don't need it. This is really for those of you uh, whose hardware buttons broken or you want additional buttons down here. Um, also, it has left-handed mode, and also you can go ahead and customize your lock screen. Uh, hardware buttons, all that good stuff here. A blur lock screen background, I really like this. Um, that way you're, let's say you're browsing the web and you unlock your screen, it's gonna blur out whatever is in the background, so that kind of protects you if you're entering, if you're in a site that you don't want people to see, maybe you're on a porn site or something. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go to, back to settings here. And some miscellaneous stuff, more stuff here. This is where you can animate uh, your system animations here. Uh, you can go ahead and customize all of these just the way you want to if you don't like the default animations. Resurrection Remix updates uh, if you want to get future updates. Um, and also Home Launcher. It does come with two launchers, Nova Launcher, Google Now. I like the Nova Launcher. So once you have Nova Launcher, um, you can go ahead and uh, customize um, your Nova Launcher, uh, I really like it because for those of you who don't use it, you go to desktop here, um, change your grid instantly to 6x6, 5x6, 7x6, whatever you want. Um, so you have more room for all of your apps, So which I really like. Um, so that you can switch easily using the Home Launcher. I really like this because usually I go to Apps Advance or I have to download an app. It just... Um, time consuming versus having this. Performance on this phone, if you have a Qualcomm based edition, I highly suggest you to install uh, Lean Kernel, which I have on here, my Verizon Galaxy S3 here. If you have AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, uh, C Spire, um, all those US and Canadian variants with Qualcomm, you can go ahead and install this. Do not install if you have a GTI 9300. Um, it'll, you'll probably break your phone. Go to processor here, you can go ahead and overclock up to 1.836 gigahertz. Uh, stable, I set it on boot. Interactive X is the governor. Getting pretty good battery life, uh, really good performance, even without overclocking, but if you need extra performance out of this phone, um, definitely you can go with the lean kernel. Also very fun to play with. Other than that, um, floating Halo notifications, DST manager. This is a really solid ROM with everything working out of the box for all the variants. And from a developer that you can trust, uh, Westcrypt, the developer of this ROM, has been making some excellent ROMs for Galaxy S2. And now he has a whole team of people making ROMs. Um, and it's very solid. The camera is super solid, super fast. Let me go ahead and show you the camcorder real quick. Um, you can go ahead and take shots while taking a video. And also you can pause your video and keep recording just like a Samsung camera and then take more shots here, stop your video. Um, so very good camera and also if you need Photosphere camera you can go ahead and install Android 4.3 Photosphere camera which I have on my site if you need it at the bottom of the post. Um, overall very nice ROM that you can install on any Galaxy S3 and if you're still on TouchWiz I think this is the time to end TouchWiz uh, for once and because Samsung just stopped updating it. Uh, but we still have these wonderful AOSP ROMs of uh, Resurrection Remix, certainly one of the best ROMs you can get. Uh, if you want to install just one ROM for the next couple months, definitely try this one out, and I think you'll like it. Um, plus, it's available for all the variants. Very stable, very fast, uh, overclocking, undervolting, all that good stuff. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, and uh, I will see you guys soon. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S3, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst3root.com, and we'll see you guys soon. I'll stay high on Android.